Hi boys and girls, Miss Kristen here, and today we're going to be reading the book Seed Sprout Pumpkin Pie by Jill Essabaum, I think that's how you pronounce her name, that is a difficult name to pronounce, by Miss Jill Essabaum. Have you picked your pumpkin? This book is all about pumpkins and where they come from and how they grow and what we use them for. A pumpkin seed is tucked into sun-warmed earth. Spring rains soften its tough coat. So a pumpkin starts off as a little seed. A root reaches for nutrients. A sprout reaches for light. Do you see the, the roots going down deep into the earth? And the little sprout is growing outwards, reaching for sun. Soon jagged leaves rise from twisty vines, wandering in all directions. So this is what pumpkin vines look like. Bees visit golden blossoms, spreading pollen from a flower to flower. Whoa, I had no idea a pumpkin was a flower. Here and there, tiny green knobs replace wilted flowers. Whoa, the knobs change color and slowly swell, growing heavier by the day. Cooler nights arrive, vines shrivel. Wow, so they start off as little teeny green pumpkins. And then they start to go big, get bigger and bigger. Left behind are pumpkins! 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 That is a lot of pumpkins. Pumpkins are a type of squash. Mmm, I like squash. Zucchini is a type of squash, and I love to eat zucchini. They can be green, red, tan, yellow, white, or even blue. What? Blue squash? My favorite is yellow squash. Yellow squash and zucchini. The pumpkins we know best are bright orange. That's a lot of pumpkins. They are tall pumpkins, short pumpkins, smooth or bumpy pumpkins. Wee ones only inches wide or giants you can sit inside. Whoa, are these guys using a pumpkin as a boat? No way. I didn't know pumpkins could float. Would you ride in a pumpkin boat? Thump, thump, thump. A pumpkin sounds hollow, but inside is stringy wet pulp and oodles of slippery white seeds. Seeds might be saved to grow pumpkins next year or dried, from, or dried for a crunchy snack. Mmm, have you ever eaten pumpkin seeds? I love pumpkin seeds. They are very delicious. Have you ever opened a pumpkin and looked inside? What did it feel like? Pumpkin pulp smells sharp and tangy, but can be made into delicious breads, desserts, and soup. Sugar pumpkins go into the spicy pies we bring to our Thanksgiving tables. The end. Unless there was something else pumpkins might be used for. Hmm, what else do you think pumpkins could be used for? Oh yes! Jack-o'-lanterns! Will you give yours a funny face or a creepy one to send shivers up your back? Will it be the head of a straw-filled scarecrow? Will your jack-o'-lantern decorate your kitchen table among striped um, gourds and sunset-colored leaves? Or will it set up on your porch a glow on a spooky Halloween night, lighting the way for a curious cat? 
unused pumpkins are fed to farm animals or left in the field to nourish the precious soil. Ooh, look at the cow eating a pumpkin. Cows like pumpkins too. Aw, it's a sad jack-o'-lantern. When pumpkins decompose, means they break down into the soil and they feed the soil and then the ground eats the pumpkin. That's pretty neat. Awaiting spring under a wintry blanket. The end. That was a really cool book about pumpkins. I hope you enjoyed. This is Miss Kristen here and I found something super cool in our own playground that I wanted to show you. Do you remember in the part of our book that it talks about pumpkins having flowers that wilt and turn into pumpkins? These are the pumpkin vines that are in our playground. And I noticed one of them has a wilted flower. According to our book, this flower should wilt and turn into a pumpkin. We will have to keep an eye on it for the next couple of days to see if it starts to turn into a pumpkin. Wow, isn't that super cool? Science is neat. Thanks for watching.